Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and replace a defective electronic fan clutch on a radiator. In this case, the diagnosis was pretty easy. The check engine light was on, and when checked with a scan tool, it was PO495, which is fan speed is high. Now, in the Chevy Trailblazer, that refers to the cooling fan behind the radiator here. The crazy engineers put an electronic hydraulic unit on it, and in this case, it's locked up. It's not spinning freely. With this electronic connector, the computers realize that, and it's tripped a code telling us it's time to change this. Now, the first thing we'll do is unscrew the fan clutch, which you need these special tools to unscrew it with. And since these crazy bolts can go left or right hand thread, get yourself a little piece of metal and twist it to see if it turns left or right to unscrew. And in this case, it's a normal right hand thread, so you unscrew it, turning it to the left. Some of them are opposite though, so always get this little tool and check it to see which way the threads are turning. This tool fits over the two bolts to hold the pulley from spinning when you pull on it. Then the other wrench goes right on the nut, and you pull on them to break it loose. And they're often really hard to get off, so get a giant cheater bar like I have here and stick it into this socket so you can pull harder. Hard enough, it'll come loose. And as you can see now, you can just spin it off. Now with it loose, first you take off the electrical connection here that powers the fan clutch. Then you remove the bolts that hold the plastic fan cowling in place. And also remove the bolts on the back of the fan, because on this design there's no working room, so you have to take the fan off before you get the fan clutch off. And you also have to remove this radiator hose, because it's in the way of getting the cowling out of the way. So pull that off. Move it out of the way. And on this poor design, you have to take this brace off too to get enough room to move the radiator back to get enough clearance to get it all off. Then with a ton of wiggling and a little swearing, you can get it out. Ugh. There's the bad one. Well, it served another purpose. I'm so hot now, I can take my jacket off and work in short sleeves. So I'll get our brand new unit and slide that in. And then it goes. You can see it turning now and it's going on. If you wait, once you put all this on, a lot of times you can't start the bolt and you'll strip it, so start that first. Then be sure to tighten everything up super tight so it doesn't fly off. And don't forget to put the coolant back in the radiator that you caught in the pan when you took the hose off. So now you know how to replace an electronic thermostatically controlled clutch. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.